welcome to the NBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and joining me today is Silver Quill. I like to ship it, ship it. You like to ship it, ship it. We like to ship it, ship it. Ship it. Ship it. Dun, dun, da, da, da. Oh man, that song was fun. Uh, but yes, in today's episode, we'll be talking about Transformers. No, no, we're not, because Silver flipped the script on us. God dang it. Also joining us today is Jacob. Hey, everybody. Oh, we're finally taking a break from the main plot of season 10 again. We need to clean the palette a bit. Yeah, let's talk about robots. <laughs> you say I flipped the script, but really all, all it took was one sentence. Yeah, and then like, did, oh, did wait, what? Have a, did you even have a script? I do for the ending for the show, and that's about it. <laughs> Oh, well, anywho, in today's episode review, we are going to review the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic comic issue number 99, or also known as season 10 comic episode. Uh, okay, this is not great to read. Um, give me a second. All right, uh, season 10, uh, season 10, episode na- 11, yes. Hmm. Uh, there's double nines on that. So in this issue, Marble Pie gets accepted into college and Pinkie Pie has trouble being happy for her and throwing a going away party, prompting cheese sandwich involvement. Ah. So first impressions are in order and silver, what do you think? <clears throat> well, a big part of me is just happy for Marble Pie because the last image we have of her truly in... Uh, in the show is wincing at the sight of Big Mac kicking, uh, kissing Sugar Bell. Not kicking. That would be, well, that would change things around quite drastically. Who knows? Maybe no, so, they're into that kind of relationship. No. Well, we have a, we have strong opinions already. <laughs> but this is this is good development for Marble and a good and sort. Of, I'm pleased for the security of her future. Uh, I gotta say, as a picky and cheese ship, it's like meet the parents, but it's not a big step in their relationship. They haven't. We never get to see them kiss. <laughs> yes, you know, a first kiss, something to show that we wind up with little cheese. I think a kiss is all we can show. Mm-hmm. You know, you're going further and whoop to do, but uh, you know, it's just a fun. Well, filler comic. It's not a big turning point in their relationship. It's not the start of their romance. It's just a sweet preamble. Hmm. Um, I, I, I don't know what to say, but I feel like this is a pre. Like, like, like the start of their relationship and whatnot. Hmm. But, well, we shall see. Anywho, uh, is that all, Silva? Yep, that'll do it for right now. All righty then. Jacob, what about you? Well, if I was go- Gordon Ramsay right at this very <laughs> moment, I would say, Burn me a fucking good comic. <laughs> hey. There's really not much to say. I, I like this comic. So, oh, um, oh, that's I- rare. What? What? <laughs> Could you say that again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you heard me. And you better tape it. Because that's, <laughs> it's, that's something you're not going to hear for the rest of season 10. I mean, it is tape, but I'm just shocked. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Why? Why? Yeah. I mean... Uh, why ask why? <laughs> why ask why? True. So, okay. Is, is that all? Yeah. That's about what I can say. All righty then. Uh, as for me, well, um, <coughs> re- re- recently read this comic and I somehow can uh, sympathize. I, I, I feel like this is one of those comics where, wow, this feels personal. Like you, you can really feel that someone went through this themselves. I can vouch for that. And also, what else again? Eh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, t- this is fun. This is great. Love the comic. 
So anyway, if you guys have not read this comic, pause here and go do so. Welcome back. So we start off the comic with Cheese walking into Ponyville. There's a lot of ponies saying that he's coming and are excited to see him. Mayor Mayor spots him and s says, Wow, Cheese Sandwich, you sure are making a lot of trips to Ponyville these days. Any chance you're here to see Pinky? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> As they say. <laughs> and Cheese just says, This ain't no social call, Mayor. I'm here on business. And he walks off. Uh, w walking a f far distance away and stopping at a very familiar looking cottage or house in the middle of nowhere. And Cheese opens up his uh, corkboard and says, let's get to work. Now, last week, uh, now, now we get into the comic proper. <laughs> we see Pinkie Pie heading to the post office where she greets the postmaster, Bakai, and Bakai here knows Pinky so well that she, he re remembers the, her address, even her, her name and address, uh, Pinky, Pinky Mina Pie 725 Miller Road. Wow. So Pinky been here for a while now. Like, she's been here asking the same questions at least once a week and the question is if any package arrived for her today a uh, package too big to fix in a uh, to fit uh, sorry too big to fit uh too big to fit in your mailbox yes and uh bakai says yes there's one and a few letters for you here you go and uh, with that, Pinky heads back to home. Um, I'm guessing Sugar Cube Corner. So, Pinky opens uh, her parcel and checks out that she got chocolates from San Pal Palomino? Pal Palomino. And he just knows what he's like. Yeah, so it's basically um, small gifts from cheese and whatnot. And also he spots a letter for Marble Pie. And I, I guess this is a good time to hit home, you know, to send letters and whatnot. And I'm going to pause here. Silver, what do you think? Well, everybody's talking about, oh, you, you two are seeing more and more of each other. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more. <laughs> mm, yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't whistle, otherwise I'd, I'd expand on that. Hubba, hubba. Wow. <laughs> But uh, here's the thing. Everyone's talking about, oh, you're seeing each other more and more. But we don't, we don't really get a sense of, well, is he going to ask her out on an actual date? That would be nice. True. I don't know. It's like you're, you're teasing us. <laughs> you're teasing us. In terms of shipping, this is giving blue balls. <laughs> oh. uh, but at least it's they're, 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 their relationship is... Non um different from how um the rest of the others are going with. Uh we can use an example for Maud. She fell in love with a male version of herself. And they're dating. Or and they're dating, but let let's see something. Let's commit Let's really see the next step in their in their relationship evolution. I'm sure if you go online, you'll find art. <laughs> no, you don't. I said relationship, not people's, <laughs> not people's imaginations. Let's just to, to be honest. I doubt it. Like I doubt people are willing to go that far because they most people don't like the ship. I've written some further step in the relationship. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, I don't. I I think people like the this ship just fine. I'm not aware of anyone having a grudge. Ah, honestly, I don't mind. It feels natural, like they didn't uh, hand fist it in. So yeah. 
So anywho, um, yeah, you, you want to see more action, more dating, more hijinks from them, eh? A little less conversation, a little more action. <laughs> oh my! Ah, all right, Jacob. What about you? Well, yeah, we will start off with the Monty Python Python uh, joke immediately. But <laughs> I do have one little nitpick that I th- I feel that the distance between Ponyville and Pinky's Rock Farm is a bit iffy because we know that it's so far that it will take more than a day on foot <laughs> and hours if you go by train together. But then again, the panel next panel shows last week, so I guess my problem is that transition transition is a bit too fast between the two environments. But then again, it's a small nitpick and it doesn't really affect the plot. That's true. But knowing Pinky, you don't question all these kind of things because she would just say, "Oh, full point A to point B, and I'll be there in a second. Yeah, but this is cheese we're talking about. Well, Cheese is walking, and we got no idea how far he's been walking. Yeah, true. Also, yeah. no, uh, Pinky, don't join the union. You guys are a high for revolutionaries. <laughs> then again, you will get married to some to someone who's revolutionized the entertainment industry. So, never mind. Meanwhile, Cheese is just all. I would walk five hundred uh, miles, and I, I would walk, walk five hundred more. Da 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 da. That reminds me of that Family Guy skit. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so, anywho, um, moving on. Uh, if unless somebody wants to add more to it, yeah, I'm done. All right. So we see Pinky come home. Uh, greets her family, you know, um, kissing, um, kissing mom, and I, I don't see her greeting that. Probably that is the strong, silent type. And huh, that is okay. Um, uh, I'm I'm just processing what I'm seeing right now. I'm not sure if this is a nitpick or what, but front door entrance to kitchen. What? Yeah, I suppose. That's true. Did you see the interior of the pie farm? Yeah, but the kitchen at the front door? Tell me. Well, how do you know it's the, fr- how do you know it's the front door? Because the apples have a door to their kitchen in the back. Yeah, but you, can you can see can... the mailbox through that. Yeah. That's... Hmm, okay. I mean, it's... <laughs> it's... Hmm... I, you know, I'm not sure if this is nitpick or just strange. Or is it how they did things back then? <clears throat> okay, let's let's brainstorm for a bit. Let's brainstorm for a bit. You're working on a farm. You got up, you, you get up from bed, you, you take your um bath, shower, whatever it is, maybe you just wash your face, do 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 your toilet stuff, uh head down, have breakfast. Straight go out to work. Technically, it works. Yeah, I mean, if you have if you've eaten your breakfast and you can head right out the door to where you're going. Yeah, like going to the farm and working the rock farm. Yeah, it, it works. It works for them. Yes. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's stick with that. That that works, right? <laughs> Tell me, I'm not crazy. We're not crazy. I can't do that, Norman. <laughs> What? What are you doing, Norman? I, I, reviewing a comic, I guess. Daisy, Daisy. Oh no! Oh no! The Wally Bot is watching me. Oh no! <laughs> but anywho, your your reference is an error. <laughs> I know. Uh, but anywho, we see. Um, Pinky greeting families and whatnot, and uh, Pinky slides uh, slides the letter towards Marble and tells her that it's possibly from a school that she wants to go, and we see her reaction turn one eighty. Like usually, Marble is kind of the mopey one, like doesn't really show that much emotion, uh, similar to Maud. But once she read the letter. 
she just says that she's been accepted. Uh, she's been accepted to uh, the Bro- Rock Rock uh, Rockadia a, a campus of the University of Abyssinia. Wow, uh, Abyssinia with a full scholarship, and she's emotional. She's hugging her parents and whatnot, and she is excited like she doesn't really show and she, she's even tap dancing and she tells everyone that this is the dream program that she's been uh wanting to go for years and also says that the scholarship is intense um it's so intense that it's on its own island a remote island away from everyone and sure it's not a reality tv show uh, is there a difference? Yes, one you get an education, the other you actually get uh you actually get to make a practical life for yourself. <laughs> which one is which? <laughs> oh, boys. Uh, so anywho uh, Pinky reads the letter and it's just deflated because um the uh the the college is or well, the college is on its own remote island, uh, only reachable by ferry, uh, by a, f- a weekly ferry, uh, during the summers, and she she is basically isolated. There's no chance of her coming home for heart swarming and whatnot. And Marble just says, "Well, no." Once winter hits, you can't really leave the island and the program runs year round. That's how blah, 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 and so on. So basically, she's going to be, well, away for almost two years and learning really, really hard about rocks. All right. So Marble's just excited and happy about this that she asked Pinky that uh, if she could... um, throw her a going away party uh, a goodbye party and Pinky just says she can't ah <sighs> la gasp so M- Marble's just like wait what Pinky just turned down a chance to throw a party or plan a party and this is almost surprising because Maud heads to Ponyville to talk to her friends and Rarity says, well, congratulations on uh, getting admitted. And uh, you need clothes for your journey there or your stay there. And here, here, here. And I think Maud also um, expressed her feelings to, to Rarity. And just and, and Rarity is just puzzled by this. Like, wait, what? She declined on throwing you a going away party? Huh, this bears some investigation. So before that, um, uh, I need to ask, um, Jacob, what do you think? Oof, um, well, <laughs> first of all, Pinky, why are you pulling that Princess Luna face uh, on your own sister when you're handing her the letter? Princess Luna face? Which do, one? do you remember from that episode between uh, Dusk and Dawn? Dusk and Dawn, wow. That's been oh, a while. Look, how is it called? Uh, when Celestia and Luna are going for, uh, for a little trip so they can be a bit off. Oh, I, I think season 9 yeah. stuff, alright. Uh, yeah. Let, let me just And then Luna says she wants to go to the post office. Uh. <laughs> and then she posts... And then she pulls on uh, what's her name, uh, Derpy. Derp. Yeah, uh-huh. and, she, and she go and she basically goes in her face. What are you doing tonight? <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But and then we see that somebody's trying to pat themselves on the back with the pres- these prestigious universities being run by comic book editors. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, but on a serious <laughs> note, yeah, this comic once again establishes that the slice of life uh, takes place outside of the season 10 continuity altogether. 
I don't think I mentioned that before way back in the previous uh, Chew Spy comic. What, the relationship? Well, well when I said that uh, there's no continuity between the slice of life parts and the uh. overarching story. But yeah, I... Uh, I mean, I don't really have much to say after that, but... Yeah, Gummy's mm. gonna spill the beans. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, all right. So, Silver, what do you think, man? <clears throat> well, like I say, having uh, Marble, she missed out on love, but now she has a passion, something to pursue, and that just feels good. You know, a character has something in their lives to focus on, to move towards, and that. It's just a very happy, reassuring thing. My brother went to college before I, so I got a little used to life where he wasn't there all the time. But I can understand Pinky's frustration and hesitation about saying goodbye. Because it could be for more than two years, and a lot can change in two years. But, to, at, sorry, go ahead. At the same time, it's very selfish for her as hard as it is, she can work through it. You can't ask Marvel to give up on this trip just to be with you. Mm, that's true, but I, I think one of the major issues for Pinky is that uh, uh, Marvel will be going away for two years straight. There's no chance of her coming back for Hearts and Hooves. So, you, but I, I'm guessing your brother, when he came down to Christmas, he at least got back home, right? Yep. Yeah, like, just imagine two years, don't see him at all. Wait, I'm sorry, I missed that last part. Uh, two years, you don't see him at all. Oh, no, uh, we, we would see, he stayed in state. So, uh, we would see him on weekends for dinner. Yeah, so, basically, you got that. Uh, so, that's that's why the, the hurt doesn't really hurt that much. Uh, for Pinky... That's much. Yeah, for Pinky... She's hurting bad. Like even though she's in Ponyville, uh, she just could turn page A to B and be in the farm in a jiffy, and go back to Ponyville in the same hour. Well, if it helps at all, when I went to college, uh, my mom started to tear up as we they were getting ready to leave. Aww. And boy, was I giddy when I was on the plane back to Colorado. Uh, to see my family over, what was it, Labor Day. Oh, wow. Oh, man, that sounds amazing. Good times. Yep. Uh, but but still, it's, this is this is understandable. Uh, but anywho, I'm, I'm going to carry on. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm just going to fast forward things because some of the things are kind of not really filler, but can be fast forward. So, anywho... Um, we go to Sugar Cube Corner and we see that Applejack is there. And Applejack uh, went in saying that um, she's not there. Uh, Fluttershy comes in saying that, uh, have you seen Pinky? Because I'm supposed to uh, give Gummy some pampering. And they give Fluttershy the lowdown and... So the shy says, okay, I'll ask Gummy and see what he knows. And uh, it seems that Gummy did tell them a lot. Because Applejack goes to the pond where they relax and do stuff. And we see Pinkie Pie throwing rocks. Uh, skipping rocks, to be honest. Um, and... Pinky uh, senses Applejack and says, "I I I don't want to talk. Uh, I I don't. I, I really don't want to talk, Applejack." And Applejack says, "Nah, it's a lie. I know. Uh, I know you. I've never. <laughs> that's never been true. You want to talk. You just don't know what to say. And that face that Pinky does is amazing. Is this a new artist? I think it's a hmm. new one." Let's see here. Ba, ba, ba. Robin Easter. Oh, uh, 
new at this time within the comic line, though they'll return for the G5 comics. Ah, does he keep, uh, is his art still consistent uh, as this? Actually, it's a very different look. Oh. Uh, also, I only know this because I checked out their uh, Twitter profile, but they they prefer they pronouns. Ah, they. Ugh. All right. All right, cool, 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 cool. Uh, I mean, I'm glad I checked. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, the, the art is... How do I put this? The art is cool. Like, it is really amazing. Um, uh, Like, that one panel with Rarity at the uh, boutique where she just waves her hooves. That looks similar to another artist. Mm, wave the hooves like you just don't care. Yeah, yeah. But anywho, um, continuing on, Binky just um says she's upset that her sister's leaving, and she <laughs> she just breaks down and just express all her emotions, feelings, and concerns and whatnot. And Applejack says that yeah, there's. <laughs> That's kind of normal because um, our little sisters grow up and we have to be there for them when when it matters and so on. And Applejack kind of can't wait for the day that this happens and she has that emotion and stuff. And it seems that Pinky and Applejack bond, bond over this and hugs. And uh, Pinky just says, yeah, you're right. Um, it doesn't make me want to throw a plan a party though, because um her logic is throwing a party is making the happiness in your heart take form, and I don't know what I can bring the fun the way I need uh, need it to. Uh, it'd be a lousy party. And Applejack says, "I I'm yeah I think you know what to do," and we go back to the present. And we see Pinky greeting Cheese. Um, and Cheese just head over heels saying that, yo, I, I have ideas. This is going to work. This is going to be dope, yo. Uh, I have this. I have that. Uh, we, we can get, we can do this. We can do that. Uh, there's going to be a lot of cheese. <laughs> and Pinky just deadpan stares at him and says, um, no, 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 no. That's not going to work. How about I help you with what I know about my sister so we can make this party go awesome. And they start working together. And yeah, uh, the party is not bad. Uh, we see DJ Pone 3 uh, dropping the beats. I'm guessing it's going to be rock and roll. Ha, ha, ha. Would make sense to me. <laughs> Although, can I just point out the, the most horrifying image in this entire comic? What, what, what? It's the first panel on that same page with the party. Oh, God. Pinky rolling up her sleeves, so to speak. <laughs> yep. Except that she's not wearing sleeves. So, whatever that is, either that's a rather excessive amount of flesh... <laughs> Or her bones and muscles just had a very big rework. Uh, she could have eaten the gummy fruit. The gum gum well, fruit? Yes. I'm th Honestly, the gummy fruit I'm thinking of is more for harshing your vibe, man. <laughs> ah, that, um, mm, mm, mm. <clears throat> nope. But anywho, uh, the, the party is a success. Uh, we, we do see a lot of awesomeness. Uh, we do see also... Um, a sketch painting artist, a portrait painting. Um, lime character artist. Character artist. Limestone doesn't seem impressed. And we see Apple Bloom there, and hmm, hmm, Mod may be cheating with Mod Briar. Hmm. What? But. She's dating Mud Briar. Yeah, but that person there is not Mud Briar. Well, the colors are wrong, but the look and the stare, that omnipresent <laughs> half-eyed stare, 
I think they just. I think that is Mud Briar. They just got the color wrong. I know. I'm just teasing. <laughs> you know. <laughs> he must be really under the weather. I mean, he looks grayer than usual. <laughs> yeah. Actually, as we were talking about blue balls earlier, I wonder <laughs> if uh, he's feeling a little blocked. <laughs> oh God, no. <laughs> Ah, uh, the the jokes that I can go with right now. No, bad me. Don't don't go there. Yeah, I mean you can always talk. He he's a big fan of Flora, so we can always talk about his morning wood. Do it, didn't Nah, I'm just letting that sink in. Oh God! Good night, everybody. <laughs> I I want to see which of you tries to get back on track first. <laughs> Well, I, I am contractually obligated to. <laughs> oh, there you go. Alrighty then. I, I would have let it sink in a little bit more and edit more if this is not my show, but somehow it is. <laughs> God. Oh, what? Are you afraid that uh, it's going to become the Silver Cool show? I oh, know. Uh, you're afraid, <laughs> you're afraid my uh, wood jokes are going to branch out? <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, God. Ah, oh, boy. So, anywho, uh, carrying on. Um, Pinky congratulates Cheese on a great time and whatnot. And um, Pinky just tells Cheese that. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, gosh, I just started. Yeah, they, 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 they work together and they really work well. Um, it seems that. Uh, Mod wants to borrow Pinky for a bit just to talk and whatnot, and uh, they they go not that far, but still uh away from your shot, and uh, they they discuss about well, first things first, Mod thanking Pinky for the party and tells her that she's going to miss her a lot when she's away, and she's going to remember this day because it's going to be one of her most happiest moments before she leaves for um, quote unquote starting her new life uh, <clears throat> uh, just like my big sister taught me uh, so she she's learning a lot from her they're twins right yeah all right I think you think she's older by just a minute or so <laughs> all right then or so. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, so uh, Pinky just apologizes for not being excited for her before. But yeah, she she's she's okay now. Um, they, they hug it out and then uh, they kind of head back to the farm because it seems that uh, she's is surrounded by a lot of rocks. Aha, uh-huh, get it? Get it because uh, relatives are there, cousins and whatnot. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, because actually, they're pies. He's got pies all over. <laughs> uh, pies. The stick mare. Uh, let's see. So yeah, as they as they walk off, um, Applejack and Pinky wink at each other because um, of their previous conversation and whatnot, and. Applejack hugs Apple Bloom, and Apple Bloom just says, "What is? What was that for? Are you doing something wrong? Do you want me to cover you for something?" <laughs> uh, and Applejack says, "Ah, no, no, never mind that. Oh, uh, now do they have ice cream? Hmm. Mm. <laughs> so anywho, uh, Pinky heads to Cheese and says, "Oh wow, there's a lot of pies all over him." Mm-hmm. So, um, Pinky kind of shoes the little ones away, and uh, Pinky thanks Cheese for helping uh, her throw this amazing party and whatnot. And uh, they they kind of flirt with each other for a bit, and well ha- have a. Wonderful chat off to the sunset uh, because Pinky wants to get some cake and they, they, they just talk. Um, all right. 
She just wants to get uh, dairy, other dairy products. That's all Gouda. Boys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Although I, n- I noticed as they're walking off into the sunset, they're walking away from the confection table. Silver, they're going away to find a personal place where, you can, where the two of them can talk like adults. And where our imaginations can be as juvenile as college children. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't worry. She's saying she's going to get the cheese he desires so much. He just needs to squeeze the cream in, put the bun in the oven, and bake it for about 10 months. <laughs> 10? 10. 10. 10. All right. That's how long it takes. For horses. For the horses. All yeah. right. For horses. Actually, uh, for. A horse, it's 11 to 12 months. All right. <laughs> well, I, I checked it out, and it's about 10 to 11 months. Yeah, I mean, depending and stuff. But um, Jacob does work, uh, you, does handle horses once, right? Or no? <laughs> well, well, not exactly handle them, but uh, a relative of mine has a farmstead. All right. So. And they have horses. All right. Yeah. So, anywho... Um, Will their relationship bloom? Will their will, will they hook up? Will we find their dates and whatnot? Who knows? Because next month is going to be episode twelve, the one hundredth episode or the one hundredth issue. So yeah, yeah. Anywho, um, comic ends here. Final thoughts, Silver. Well, I don't know if we want to get into the interview they included in this issue. Yeah. Why, why, why don't you read? Uh, why don't you take over this one, Silver? Let's see here. Uh, according to this, so Robin Easter knew that it would be a fun challenge to tackle as soon as they read the uh, uh, as soon as they read the description. They like a looser description because it gives room to play around and concepts that might not come about otherwise. Uh, also, we learned the four cousins that are introduced in this uh, comic very briefly. Mm-hmm. Acacia, spruce, oak, and birch. Oh, <laughs> uh, wood. Honestly, that sounds that sounds more like uh, mud briars. Yeah. yeah, yeah, his relatives. Huh. Oh, so there's a quick description of them. Uh Asasia is the eldest and likes making wooden sculptures. Oak and Birch are twins, but they're very different. They're too young to help with most of the chores, but Oak loves helping his mom replant trees, while Birch causes trouble around the farm. <laughs> and one Spruce of them is a still... Cutie, one of them has a cutie mark and the, one does, and the other one doesn't. I, I'm betting it's the one that likes planting stuff. Probably, yeah. yeah. Spruce is just a baby. <laughs> So, you know, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh, God. Silver, you say baby, but we know babies can do horrible things. Well, I mean, if you give them wings or a magical horn, sure. Yeah, yeah, true. Or both. Or both. And apparently, uh, Easter's favorite part of the process is inking. Hmm. Really, no. Huh, that's right. And it concludes with Easter saying their favorite uh, pony is Pinkie Pie. Oh, really? No. Saying everyone should have a Pinkie Pie in their life. Do you have a Pinkie Pie in your life? I believe I'm the closest thing to that Pinkie Pie. Oh, cool. I don't... In fact, I organized a birthday party for a friend later today. Yay! Make sure you have confettis and balloons and all of the stuff that Tinky has and stuff. Stuff. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh? But, do uh? You- <laughs> uh? but do you have a cheese in your life? Um, I don't know. <clears throat> about... I got a mozzarella pizza. Is that close enough? Okay, close enough. Oh, Good for me. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then. So, anywho, um, yeah, those are fun facts. Those are fun facts. And to know that uh, Robin will be working on later issues, 
is kind of cool. But you mentioned that the art style is not the same, right? Uh, they try a very different look for the G5 characters. Oh, okay. Uh, what's your verdict on it? To me, it looks like everything's widened just a little, so it creates this pinched look, like someone squished them down. Hmm. Interesting. All right. I wish I could say more, but let's. I want to see how uh, Easter's artwork evolves with time. Hmm. It's it's one of those situations where you you've seen what they can do, and what we got here was pretty impressive. And for them to, well, honestly, I haven't read it yet, so I got no idea. So I'm just saying stuff based on what you mentioned. And hearing that their art style is not similar to this, but different, is understandable, yet puzzling at the same time. Well, we may have gotten too used to uh, artists with just one style. Probably, yeah. I guess it's fun to check out what they can do in the future. All right, cool, cool. Anyway, final thoughts, Silver? Well, I find this a, a sweet comic. It's very simple. But it's like they keep hinting that something's growing between Cheese and Pinky, but they they just don't want to commit. Ironically, the couple we know to be canon doesn't want to commit. <laughs> uh, maybe they're in an open relationship, Silver. Kiss that kiss her, you fool. Go, cheese. Oh, what's that little mermaid song? <laughs> Sha -la, 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 la la my oh my, looks like you're quite too shy. It's gonna kiss the girl. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh god, you remember that? I, 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 it's out of my brain. Wow, awesome. Ten points for you, silver. Yay! Uh, right then. A anything else? Well, are these points returnable? I mean, can I can I get a prize for them? Or are we talking about, like, you know, just really empty uh, points for a store you never go back to? That. Curses. <laughs> uh, please come again. I don't think I will. <laughs> Harumph. Uh, but anywho... Anywho, not much more to add. It's sweet, it's nice, but I'm just like, come on. Have Pinky take that leap. Go the second distance. Well, probably, in, oh man, like, uh, probably because we do know that they hook up and have a kid. So it's one of those cases where we know the end, but the journey to the end is what we really want to see. Mm, but that journey needs to include a little, well, the start, the flicker, a little kissy kiss. I know. Uh, do what Big Mac had. Like, that would be fun, even though we didn't really see the full thing. But just uh, going through the motions, like him and that uh, Ma Mendo Pony lookalike uh, adventure that they had was pretty interesting, too. Or the part where... Uh, Big Mac and uh, Sugar Bell hung out with each other and so on, blah, 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 and stuff. We, we need those. But unfortunately for us, we, we're not going to get it on the show because Where El is expensive. And hmm. we should have got it in the comics, but no, comics end. So, mm. Now there is fandom imagination. I'm sure there's one right now. You know what? I'm going to open Film Fiction and try and find it. Uh, but anywho, uh, is that all silver? That'll do it. All right. Then. So anywho, um, what about you, Jacob? What did you think? Well, uh, this comic hit it a bit too close for, to home for me. Oh, really? No. See, yeah. I have a sister that's two years older than me. And when we were younger... She was the golden child of the family. She had the best grades in school when she went to college for architecture where she got best grades. But most of all, she trained to be a skiing professional, just like our parents who are skiing teachers. Mm -hmm. So she was everything my parents were and were hoping she, that she would have a prosperous career. 
in contrast to me, who's basically the black sheep of the family, if you look at it like that. Oh, I'm not, uh, I'm not into sports or anything like that. So eventually, I don't see, yeah, what we I don't think that makes you a black sheep, though. Yeah, but uh, if you compare to what my parents are and contrasted with me, I'm complete opposite of them. Yeah, but as I was saying, eventually it was concluded that the only way she could advance further was for her to go outside, uh, outside of our country. So she was set to go to the land of golden opportunity. But instead, she, de- she ended up in America. Wait, what? Like, <laughs> oh, no. I, I thought the land of golden opportunity was America. Where, where was she supposed to go? <laughs> That's the joke. We're, we're, we're more bronze opportunity at this oh, point. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. But uh, so they, they, sorry, go ahead. No, uh, what do you want to say? But America's uh, okay. I, I'm gonna find the right word because, um, okay, I'm trying to find the right word for America. America's okay, right? Mm. In current states, I, I'm waiting for the American to. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, let's see here. I would, I guess the best way to describe America is royally bold. <laughs> oh, God. And, okay, this is coming from the American, by the way, guys. Like, um, there, there's no, um, I, I'm not poking fun at it and I'm not uh, saying bad things about America because personally for me uh, I will <laughs> yeah you can because you live there uh, personally for me I want to visit America one day and um, just experience it but uh, money stuff yes I yeah, was money America is concerned before. you you been there yeah wow like back when I was in my tw- uh, when I turned 20 ooh awesome I, sounds fun very nice yeah Basically, I, there was this girl I met on the internet and we talked like for a few years and then eventually it was time to try and make the next move. Mm. So basically, I at the age of 20, I decided to went to USA solo. Wait, uh, is the... Okay, uh, do you need... When, when you try to go to the States, do you need a visa or no? Oof. You know, I think... Actually, I kind of forgot about it at this point. Like, it was almost 15 years ago at this point. Oh, okay. I mean, like, honestly speaking. And the, this was, uh, like, relatively soon after 9 11. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so security was extra tight on the airport. Mm. Yeah, but back to the original topic. Mm-hmm. So. Basically, in 2004, when she was about 19, she went to America to America to further study architecture and to advance her skiing career. And it's safe to say that we were all kind of in the dumps about it. I mean, we were happy for her, but there was this dread in the back that we'd never see her again. And, well, 2004, I, I don't know how America was, but over here the internet was a luxury. Uh, we still, hmm. uh, if I recall, we still had the the ones on the phone. Oh yeah, I I, I can relate with that. Um, I only got uh, fi- uh broadband re- sorry, fiber. Yeah, I only got fiber about ten years ago. You gonna fiber in that? <laughs> Uh, that too, but no fiber internet like that. That was ten years ago. Like I'm guessing, probably Silver got it much earlier than me. Very likely. Mm. Yeah, but then things changed when she came back about a half year later, because what happened was during the skiing practice. Her, hold on a second. Let me just check. How do you say this? Uh, okay. Cruciate ligament. Oh. Okay. Well. It snapped. Oh, fuck. How? Yeah. I'm not sure how it happened, but basically it effectively ended her professional skiing career for good. So she ended up coming back. Yeah. This kind of put her in a depression because she loved skiing, uh, competing in skiing, so she didn't know what she was going to do now. 
Oh, and man. so she started going to one of those seminars to talk about fixing personal problems and she had a lot of time to think maybe a little too much because there's this point where you can overthink things to way too much. And she came to a conclusion that the only reason she liked skiing competition is because her parents raised her into it, but she never chose what she wanted to do. Oh, man, um, with, yeah. you know, if she came to that conclusion, it's... Ah, <laughs> oh, man, it's... Silver, help me out here! <laughs> I'm not sure I can, Norman. I'm not sure I can. Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. I think she went a bit too overboard about the whole personal freedom. She decides to change change her name for the sake of it as wow, well. Wow, okay, uh, extreme. Yeah. But no, um, yeah. to, to be honest, if she came to that conclusion on her own, deciding that the reason why I enjoy X is because of uh, parents, it's, it's understandable. But if she really did feel enjoyment out of it, like personally did it on her own accord she shouldn't really how do I put this she, she shouldn't really brush it off as oh because parents want me to do it that's why um, I'm uh, doing it honest yeah, on, and, and, <coughs> sorry no, uh, sure. yeah. honestly speaking like there's more than one way to go uh, to go beyond this and she could have been a coach she could have be an instructor and so on. I mean, maybe you need to have a license and whatnot, but still, there's more than one way to deal with this. And if she decided on what she decided, that's up to her. Yeah, my parents are skiing trainers as well. Oh, cool. That's how they, they were able to teach her. I don't know. <laughs> I uh, never, however, uh, had much li like for skiing. <laughs> Mostly because I got problems with legs, uh, so my uh, ankles are a bit stiff, so I can't really move them. All uh, right. But yeah, the whole thing with well, too much personal freedom, she became a vegan and became overly spiritual person. Just not in the way of any Abrahamic religion. <laughs> she started to embrace this thing called Vastu Shastra. It's an ancient Indian science of harmony and prosperous mean by eliminating uh, negative and enhancing the positive energy around us and considering she has a major in architecture she fell right into that oh <laughs> all right yeah all right so so now she's moved to croatia with her husband oh. where they bought a house with a huge garden and they're planning to have a farm oh, okay i mean um she clearly moved on so that's good yeah and um, do you guys still keep in contact with her? Oh yeah, we still do keep in contact. Uh, I mean, it's a lot easier now. <laughs> yeah, than it was like fifteen years. Yeah, ago. so so that's that's all good. That's all good. So there, there's a silver lining to it, then. Yes. Yeah. All righty then. So <laughs> always look for the silver lining. Yeah, always look for silver. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! You beat me to the punch. <laughs> I do, I do my utmost. Yay, always look for Silver, because he'll help you with stuff. <laughs> silver, I need to move a car, could you help me? <laughs> I don't think he's oh. going to have time, considering the World Chess is going to be on his tail anytime soon. Oh no. <laughs> exactly right. Oh no. Right. Uh, who will help me then? <laughs> oh, boys, but okay, um, get it back on track. Right. Uh, right, it, 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 but... Uh, <clears throat> As, a, as far as this is concerned, I know I've been ragging uh, a lot on uh, Thomas Elner because uh, his work was so-and-so from time to time. Uh, well, not very good, especially when in regards with the core, because whenever he got uh, his hands on the work where she was uh, part of the story, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. she was basically re relegated to being a tool. <laughs> But as far as uh, this, uh, this uh, comic is concerned, um, uh, as I established in the previous cheese uh, pinky comic, uh, he did it way before back when it was uh, still uh, uh, in Friends Forever, the one where they uh, Pinkie Pie and uh, Cheese were together for the first time. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah I remember that. Yeah. 
and uh, considering uh, that this comics is uh, very good as well cons- uh, as all the other was, mm. well, I have to say, he did. He, uh, Tom Zellner really did uh, finish. Uh, fri- uh, fri- sorry, <laughs> uh, friendship is magic. Comic run on a positive note. So, uh, bravo, Tom Zellner. All right, all right, all right. Cool, cool, awesome, awesome. Um, as for me, I, I like this comic, this this slice of life comic where uh, the only trouble is family going far away for a very long time, and I highly enjoy how they handled it and the steps that it took for Pinky to open up and um, just express how she feels it's it's a lot of work and yeah this comic is a lot of fun to read i i enjoy it a lot Uh, the art is amazing like i've been gushing over the art for a while now and oh man the the topic at hand is is very deep so yeah um honestly I, i i don't have much of a uh, what you call this um, memory to share with you guys about going away and whatnot because I'm kind of a grump. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, honestly, I... Oh, wow. I, I'm trying to remember if I miss anyone that much that made me... Re- made me want to, yeah. You know what? Nah, man. Like, nah, nah. I, I don't have any kind of emotions with that, and I think I know why. I think I know why. Um, back when I was a kid, um, back when I can remember at least. Uh, so two weeks ago, <laughs> probably. I'm a clone. <laughs> um, back when I was a kid. Um, I remember feeling a bit sad and depressed because my dad had to go to work and my dad works offshore on a oil plant. Is that, is that how you call it, Silva? On an oil rig? Yes, thank you, oil rig. Yes, yeah, much better. So he, he works at a offshore oil rig. And he, if I'm not mistaken, it's usually a month or two, so on. So, felt from my youngest memory, I, I f- remember kind of that and felt um, sad and depressed. And as time goes on, uh, I gotten used to it. So, I, I think I've gotten to the point where I've gotten used to people leaving for a very long time and not feeling anything or not really missing them that much because in the back of my mind I always know that oh they'll come back or so on and for relationships and whatnot if they don't then it wasn't meant to be so <clears throat> yeah um it's one of those things where I might be broken. <laughs> if not, give me five more minutes. <laughs> I'm sure this rendition of me will be broken soon enough. Then I have to reboot it. <laughs> Anywho, um, yes, that's the review of the comic. I like it. Go read it. Go buy it if you can. So, anywho, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themishogmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show. And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Silver, where can the good people find you? The good people can find me on Twitter, DeviantArt, and YouTube under MLP Silver Quill. If on YouTube you do a search for After the Fact, be sure to throw in Silver Quill, else you'll find a news program. Uh... On the About page of my YouTube, you can find links to my Patreon and Kofi to support After the Fact. And this final weekend in August, you can find me at Everfree Northwest in Bellevue, uh, Washington, the 26th through the 28th. Awesome, awesome. Go check him out, guys. And if you're going to EFNW, right? 
Yes, I have to run that through my head. Uh, they're good. They're cool guys with me before. Now they're not. Oh, we sad. But anywho, um, if you're going to Everfree Northwest, uh, go head to Silva's booth, buy merch, say hello, and tell him how much you enjoy his work because he works really hard on them. <clears throat> yes, and I have a fragile ego. So fragile. make sure you stroke his ego and nothing else. <laughs> oh no. Oh uh, Jacob, where can the good people find you? You can find me on DeviantArt uh, under the username Yakafontotkar and the Twitter username Tales of the Ashes. If you're interested in reading the story Tomorrow Rising, you can find it on filmfiction.net. <laughs> and if you're interested in reading an original story featuring anthropomorphic animals in medieval fantasy setting called Tales of the Ashes, you can find it on the Tales of the Ashes.com. Awesome, awesome. Go check him out, guys. It's a very fun read. And, yep, uh, let's see. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also, Stitcher Radio. And also, like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on com. Links will be in the show notes. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash show. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank you, I would like to thank you, Jacob, Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, myself, Lag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am the Silver Quill. I'm in Jacob. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya. Adios. Bye bye. <laughs> oh no, Silver, you're gonna leave. For another convention? <laughs> yes, but if you love something, you must let it go. But I w- before it before it smothers you with a pillow in your sleep. <laughs> but I wanted to chain you to the bed and tell me, let me you t- and make you tell me stories. <laughs> tell me lies. Tell me sweet little lies. <laughs> <laughs>